Hello everyone. We have this to deal with. Okay, so let's do this very quickly. X over X times X over 3 is 3. Right, this is supposed to be 3. Is equal to 3 over X. Okay, do not disturb yourself. Just say X times X is X squared. Over 3 times 3, that will be, that will be 9. And it's equal to 3 over x. And at this point, we cross multiply. x squared times x will give us x cubed. Then, 9 times 3 is 27. So, we have x to the power of 3 equals 27, which is the same as 3 to the power of 3. If you equate the base, if you equate the powers, then the bases will be equal, right? But then, if we do that, we'll have just one solution. And this equation is expected to give us three solutions. So, I'm going to bring this to the left. x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 is now equal to 0. Because there's no, there's no number on the right. Okay. Now, here we have difference of two cubes. Your a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 is equal to what? a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared this is what this is now to write this in this form a minus b becomes x minus 3 okay so here we now have a squared is going to be x squared then plus a b that will be x times 3 then plus b squared is going to be 3 squared. Remember, everything is equal to 0. x minus 3 is here. And then from here, we now have x squared. Plus x times 3 is 3x. Then plus 3 squared is 9. And this is equal to 0. So from here now, we will say it's either x minus 3 is 0 or x squared plus 3x plus 9 is 0. This is because we are multiplying this term and this term to get 0. And as a matter of fact, according to this equation, we are having just two terms. The term in this bracket and the term in this second bracket. So since we are multiplying both of them to get 0, one of them has to be zero that's what this is about so from here now we have x minus 3 plus 3 to be 0 plus 3 okay because we want to remove 3 from the left so this and this will go, will go and then our x will be 0 plus 3 which is 3 now we have one of the solutions right to get the other solution we will go back to this quadratic equation x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals 0. Now let's remember the formula. The formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Okay, now what is our a, b, c? This is quadratic general formula. Our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. Our b is 3, that's positive 3. And our c is 9. What we will do is to put this, this value of a, b, c. Let me write it somewhere so we can see. Our a is 1, the coefficient of a, of x squared. Our b is 3, the coefficient of x, and our c is 9, the constant. Now, putting this into this formula now, our x will now be, in place of minus b, we'll write minus 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which will be 3 squared, minus 4 times 1 times 9. Because a is 1 and c is 9. Then this will be divided by 2 times 1. Now, to go ahead, our x will be minus 3 plus or minus 
the square root of 9 minus 36. Okay, 36 here is 4 times 1 times 9 is 36. And then this will be divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. Right, let us continue from here. We had x to be equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of um, 9 minus 36 divided by 2. Now, let's go ahead so that x will now be equal to, we have minus 3 plus or minus square root of negative 27 divided by 2. Because 9 minus 36 is negative 27. Now, x is minus 3 plus or minus square root of 27 times square root of negative 1. Okay, what I did is to bring out the negative root. Now, we are going to continue from here so that x will now be minus 3 plus or minus this square root of 27 could have been 9, square root of 9 times 3, then multiply by square root of negative 1, which is i, imaginary, then we divide by 2, right? Okay, so from here now, our x is minus 3 plus or minus, square root of 9 is 3, then multiply by root 3, multiply by i divided by 2. The root 3 is still there because 3 is not a perfect square, but 9 is a perfect square, right? Now let us rearrange. So we have minus 3 plus or minus 3 times i is 3i. Then we have root 3 as we divide by 2. This is a 2 in 1 solution because of the plus or the minus, right? So now, this means that our x is minus 3 plus 3i root 3 divided by 2 or minus 3 minus 3i root 3 divided by 2. Now, one of the mistakes that learners will make is to add this and this. They are not the same. This is 3 minus 3 and this is 3i. Okay, so you cannot add both of them. And by the way, this 3i is attached to the root 3. So there's nothing you can do from here down to factorize. And even if you factorize your 3 out, nothing is down here to go into the 3. So we leave it like this. Okay, remember we got one solution before, which is x equals um, 3. So these are the three solutions to the equation.